In marketing, there is one question that is the magic question, and it really boils down to this specific question. We're gonna get into it. It's gonna help you to create far more effective marketing, whether it's content marketing or offers or web pages or ads or whatever it is, it all boils down to this. So let's get into today's video. Hey there, my name is Brandon Bershears and I create daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button if you like this video and comment below if you have any questions at all. So let's jump into it. Today's topic is what is the magic marketing question that will help you to be more effective? And it's actually very, very simple. It is what is in it for me? This is what everybody is wondering. And this is what's on everybody's mind. Anytime that they see an ad or a piece of content or a video thumbnail, everybody is looking for what's in it for me. It makes total sense. People are busier than ever. People are being marketed to more than ever. The number of marketing items that you see every single day is massive. I don't know the exact number, but I would guess that it's in the thousands or possibly even tens of thousands of marketing messages that you see every single day. And so as a result, there just simply isn't enough time. There's not enough time for you. If you stopped and listened to every single advertisement, how could you pay attention? You would have no time for anything else. So this doesn't matter if you are making content, if you're a content creator, if you are a brand trying to sell any product, if you're trying to sell any service, customers and the clients need to know what is in it for me. And ultimately, this is what branding is. And this is what marketing is. What is the promise that your brand is making? What is the promise that your service provides for your customers? What is the promise that your product provides? If you can nail this and understand what is in it for the customer, why is it important to them? What pain point does it solve? If you can nail this question, you are able to go a lot further in marketing. And this is one of the biggest problems that I see with marketing in general for businesses. People talk about themselves too much. They talk about the features of their products. They talk about how great they are, how long they've been in business, what their credentials are. Those are important for credibility and for justifying purchase behavior. But ultimately, your customers want to know what's in it for them. You'll see any time that a business says, you know, we've been in business since 1885 or we've been in business since 1972. Right? That's great, but why does that matter to the client? I understand that having longevity gives credibility in things, but ultimately, what's that for? What is the benefit of having credibility? If you see, for example, a plumber that's been in business since 1965, that's cool. What does it tell you about the company? What does that tell you about the people who use that product or service? What does it you know, give the actual customer? It has to give them something. What's in it for them? If you look at a company's About Me site uh, page on their site, typically everybody has an About Me page. But why do they need that? You need to frame what you are, who you are, what you're about in terms of what's in it for the customer and the client. Because ultimately, that's all they care about. Sure, if you are trying to get, you know, let's say you need open heart surgery and you want to make sure that you have the best surgeon. Okay, then definitely the school that they went to is going to play into that. So that's important. You're going to have um, experience. That's important. You can have um, track record. That's important. Skill level. That's important, right? So the About Me is very relevant in terms of what's in it for the customer there. But let's say you are a plumber, for example. Why is it important to talk about the hobbies of the person that is the plumber? Why is it important to talk about know where they learned or it needs to be specifically framed in a way that makes sense to the customer and that also is going to benefit the customer so i work a lot with veterinarians and they are super guilty of doing this they will put in the about me they'll talk about where they went to school what they studied in school if there's any specialties um, and then what they do for fun around them and typically they think that it's beneficial to you know throw in some personality and it is for sure people like to do business with those that they know like and trust and so having some personality helps you there but if you say you know hey we've been in business since 2000 okay that's great but if you say it in terms of why it's important to the customer so we've have over you know 18 years of experience and we've helped you know, X number of pets with X, Y, and Z problems become healthier, live happier lives, 
And you know, we're talking about benefits, not just features. So ultimately, what do people want from your brand or your business? What are the main pain points that you solve in being in business? And what is the promise that you deliver to these clients and customers so that you can help them? And then frame it in a way that makes sense. So this is the most important thing in marketing. If you can understand what it is that the clients and customers want, what kind of a promise that you can make to help them get what they want and actually fulfill on that, you're going to be successful. That's what marketing is. It makes a promise to the customer. And as long as you can fulfill on that promise in a way that's satisfactory, you're going to be the one that wins. With digital marketing, we often make it more complicated than it needs to be. Ultimately, we're just reaching people. You can't forget that on the other side of the computer screen is a person. On the other side of the mobile device is a person. And ultimately, we want to know what is in it for us. So hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything. And be sure to subscribe so that you can improve your digital marketing. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon.